Hey guys, Matt here. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new DC Icons Flash figure. Uh, DC Icons just launched a couple of weeks ago. It's a brand new scale of figures from DC Direct. Uh, they're essentially taking, you know, classic DC characters and giving them in their most iconic look. That's you know, DC Icons. Uh, name's pretty obvious. Um, so I have a couple of them, but I'm starting with the Flash since he's not in stores yet. Uh, so this will be a bit of a preview. So here he is in the package. Got to watch out for some glare there. I'm opposite a window. Uh, so you've got the figure, a couple of hands, and you can see a treadmill icon, you know, uh, accessory in there. Uh, icons logo clearly on the back. One of the things I like is that in the O of icons, you've got the flash symbol. And that iconography is repeated all over the package. Um, there's a flash symbol here on the top, flash symbol on the side, on the back in the O, not on the bottom. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's very clearly, you know, they're taking that iconic flash symbol and they've applied it to the packaging. Other than that, the package is a little bit, um, a, a little bit sparse. Um, the back has the other figures in Wave too, so you've got, um, you know, you've got Lex Luthor, um, Flash, you know, the other the other characters, um, and then yeah. Otherwise, the package is a little bit sparse, but we, uh, you know, we're not here for our package, so let's go ahead and open up the Flash. Okay, so here's the Flash out of the package. And I'll be totally upfront, uh, just by opening him up, I'm infatuated with him. He's just about perfect. Um, so here he is. Uh, one of the things that's new with DC Icons is the change in scale. So I thought that it'd be good to just show how he measures up. So here against the tape measure, you can see that the flash is just under six inches tall. Um, if you want a little bit more of a comparison? Uh, here is a recent DC Direct New 52 Joker and stands about seven inches. So you can see the Joker is uh, taller than the Flash, but not, um, you know, not profoundly so. But all in all, the new scale works. It's a great size of a figure. It gives, um, you can see that there's a nice balance between the quality and detail of the sculpt, but yet it's big enough to get great details. Uh, writing down the articulation, um, he has a ball jointed head and neck, so he can left, right, up, down. Uh, swivel shoulders, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and then wrists as well. Has a bicep, um, not a bicep, a uh, chest, um, chest rocker. He can move around a little bit. It's, t it's a tight joint, but he still has the most rotation. An ab crunch ball jointed hips, double jointed knees, and then um, a calf swivel, and then rocker um, rocker ball jointed ankles. So, ton of articulation here on the flash. Uh, the joints are nice and tight. Um, the sculpt is great, so this flash being a speedster isn't the bulkiest of guys, so he has a nice slender um, sculpt and physique. You can still see he has a good definitions on the muscles, but it's not, um, you know, it's not overly so. I mean, he's no Superman, right? It's the Flash. Uh, looking at the details of the deco, you can see everything's really clear. Um, the the paintwork on the emblem is fantastic, and the Flash details, lightning details around the waist, and the arms are also. Um, very clean, very well defined. Admittedly, the Flash does not have the most complicated of costumes, uh, but it's great to see here. It, it, it's so perfect and everything's very crisp. Also, the paint details around the eyes. It'll be tough to see, but I'll uh, pop a picture in here. Uh, the eyes and the face look great also. So, uh, accessory-wise, um, Flash includes this treadmill. Uh, one of the things that I like about this is the fact that it does have so many paint ops on it. You can see the detail here on this control panel, and then also the, against the base on both sides. Uh, there's those um, wires and electrical components are highlighted. You know what? They totally could have skipped that, and it wouldn't hurt the toy at all, and saved you know a penny or so, fractions of a penny. Um, but it really, you know, it really adds to it the fact that they're there. And then also included are two extra hands. Um, we got one fist, and then one open hand, which then you can just Swap right out here. There we go. And now he's got a different hand on. 
So yeah, I mean, plausibility, I mean, he's really good. Um, in fact, you can see that the joints are nice and tight. Um, what I'll do is I'll pose him running here on, on the treadmill, just to sort of show that he can hold his pose really well. Um, if you wanted to take pictures or, or pose him for photographs, you don't have to worry about him falling out of his pose. So there's that. There you go. So yeah, the joints are nice and strong. He holds a pose. You know, you can get him how you want, snap a picture, he's not going anywhere. Admittedly, this probably wouldn't stay this way for a week, um, but the fact that it's even, you know, that it's standing and it's well balanced enough to do that is really awesome. Um, you know, all, everything about this figure I love. It's, it's fantastic. Um, if this is an indication of what the DC Icons line is gonna be, um, I'm in, because uh, this is pretty much the Flash figure. I don't need to worry about any others. You know, of all the, this is the flash I would want. This is the flash, um, and it's fantastic. The execution is great. The articulation is there. The sculpt is there. The attention to detail is there. It's a fantastic piece. Um, you're going to want to pick this up. It's going to be in stores uh, later in de later in December. I think towards the end of the month, um, Wave Two will be available, and you should go to the store buy Wave One now and tell them that you want Wave Two. The figure is that good. Um, you're going to want to pick it up. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and how about uh, how about subscribing? Thanks.